Okay, today we're going to look at the difference between blues, swing, and rock and roll. Basically, they're different, but they're the same. And it's all based on tempo, basically. If you have the Let's Enjoy Piano Self-Expression Method book on uh, 12-bar blues, page 72, you can follow along. If not, you can pick up a copy of the book. It deals with all different ideas about improvisation, what you can do when you jam with 12-bar blues, etc., so 72 lays out the 12 bar blues layout and all the different motives in the right hand. That gives you an idea of what the composition or the improvisation centers around. And we have interpretation, plural, plurality, uh, extension chords, all different ideas that you can play into any song or you can put into the basic 12 bar blues. So the 12 bar blues, just walking the bass, Blues is very slow. So if we take a C chord and we have an E diminished, you have a C7. And if you just have a basic walking bass, sliding off a blue note, which is the flat third, then you go up four to the four chord, the F, and you play A diminished, which is F7 back to C7. That's your basic blues. G7 with a B diminished. F7 with the A diminished. C7 with B diminished. That's the basic blues, and you can make melodies up and but have a basic motive. The motive I use was the diminished chord, dominant seven chord as a diminished chord, as the top three notes. And your thumb is on the third of the chord, which slides off the blue note. It gives you that feeling of, of, of uh, jazz, the difference between major and minor. That's how Duke Ellington coined jazz, putting ma major and minor together. Basically, we put it together. So major and minor. So the blue note, to slide off the blue note, you have the basic blues. Now, you pick it up, the tempo, you have swing, which is... A little lighter, but the basic walking bass is there. First inversion of the C, the cage, I call it C A G E. Slide off the blue note. So that's swing. Now it's a little more driving. Rock and roll. crazy things at the ending that's the difference that's it it's, they're different but they're the same so practice your blues speed it up a little lighter, lighter, lighter touch and more of a driving beat chord just in a double time eighth 16th you could call it two one and the two and so you have two and speed it up or just do it slow Thank you. 
based on swing and uh, rock and roll rock around the clock is based on rock and roll tempo and the slow blues regular hard dirty blues six eight blues twelve eight blues with the blue scale. You'll find all this in the blues chapter, things that are practical that you can apply, the basis of, of swing and blues and rock and roll. Uh, not for the advanced students, that's, uh, this is just basic, basic, uh, beginner and intermediate. to Just try these things out, but it gives you a whole idea. And then there's a lot of things in the book for all levels, all styles for all, um, um, all ideas that you can apply. It's a toolbox of ideas, creative ideas, techniques that you can apply to any song. How to put fills in, how to make introductions, all the things around the basic song, how to interpret, how to arrange. There's so much to do from when you just take a basic song and then arrange it, improvise it, compose your own songs, composition chapters, Okay, so hope that helps you out. The difference between, and them seems like there's a fire out there, uh, blues, swing, and rock and roll. Thank you very much.